warm milk and turmeric powder good shit okay so what is up guys it's been a while but yeah i just want to make a video for myself and to do like what six new subscribers i got ever since i made that first video with the cca and rays i just want to i just want to make a video on these ones i got here and these right here are the thea audio legacy trees and i got them for basically 44 dollars and the original price of these um, if i'm not mistaken let's see legacy three the original cost like 119 dollars 119 dollars but i got them for 43. don't believe me so this is the listing where i got my the audio legacy threes and it says here and even went on sale so the price is 2199 and when converted to us dollars it's basically 44 dollars and the normal price is I'm not mistaken, 119 dollars. Yeah, 119 dollars. So, what a bargain, man. am I right? So, this is actually a video of me convincing you that instead of buying the cheaper end ones, why not just why not just wait it out and wait for and wait and wait for other sellers to sell much more expensive IEMs for like a fraction of the cost. But I'm also gonna talk about the Legacy 3s. Just wait for it. Okay, before I begin, uh, just a disclaimer, just like my last video, I'm not an audiophile. I don't really consider myself an audiophile. I don't have pro audio gear whatsoever. I don't even have like Tidal or I don't have FLAC files. I listen straight out of YouTube music and I just have an amp back here uh it's the fio k3 then i always uh, i always listen everything out of the box i don't change tips so i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you what i got from the package itself without change without doing much changes though so these ones the ta audio legacy 3s um from a hardware standpoint i actually like everything uh maybe it's just one of the problems of buying secondhand items but the cable it came with uh i talked to the seller and he said that these are stock and from what i got these i don't know man it looks good and all but at the same time there are parts here and there where it's not consistent and it looks like it's poorly done like uh, there are just parts here that I don't really like how it was made and it looks like it's already slowly falling apart but yeah the the next major thing I had an issue with this and I actually looked at the forums for answers regarding this I also talked to the seller the previous owner who got who owned this is that the TA audio legacy 3's main problem is the two pin connector sockets when I got these, they're very loose. Like, uh, I I really had to be careful in removing these because they're uh, it's very it's very easy. Like if you can see here, it's very easy to remove. Like just like that, I don't even have to squiggle any 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 bit. Like it's so easy to remove. So there's that, and the fit. I don't know. Maybe it's just my maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my ears. It depends on yours. But this like certain uh dip here, uh this certain extension here, it really it really pushes down my the backside of my ear and in the in the uh over the course of using this, like it tends to irritate me after like a few hours of using this but yeah so i'm gonna 
review this in the setting where the number one is raised up and the number two is raised down because i think that's the most optimal setting for me because i like my base my uh, my low end to be just enough pronounced that it doesn't sound lacking but at the same time there's enough punch to it but it doesn't overpower the mids because I am a mids guy. I really like to, I, I really like to hear the instruments more. I really like to hear the vocals more, especially when I'm listening to like the one here. Uh, I, I'm currently listening to Periphery's Hail Stan album. It's really nice. I love it. Uh, my favorite my favorite songs are probably Satellites and It's Always Mess. See, it's even in their top five songs. I think. Shout out to Bad Guy Good Audio Reviews. This is really useful for me. But yeah, um, just like how you see it from the rest of the IEMs that I own, the TA Audio Legacy 3s are somewhat in the higher end, but still around the middle of the pack in terms of sub base, sub -base to mid base, which in a sense I kind of understand because the basing on these ones is just enough. They complement the rest of the frequency range very well but the downside for me is they're far from being the most detailed but what i do what but like i said earlier they complement the mids and highs very well which is which is a plus in my book onwards to the mids to the highs there is something about the 1k to 2k range that depending on how uh harsh the incline is from 1k to 2k it's like the deterring factor for me if i will if i will like the iem's uh mid mids enough or not and in the case of the legacy trees because of that somewhat steep incline i really like it and moving forward to the to the highs to the treble part i kind of don't understand this really but if there's one thing i've learned from my past iems is that i really like it when fifth after 15k everything just goes just goes downhill and that's probably one of the cons i don't like about the legacy trees is that it keeps it high and in the case of how i hear it there's this subtle shimmer that i hear and uh my ears are somewhat sensitive to it i don't like very shimmery iems and this one has very high uh has that certain shimmer to it that it's not always pronounced but when you do hear it i i kind of find it irritating so there's that with regards to detail and sound stage i don't think that it's uh it's one of their strong points either like it's good enough for me i think it's good enough that you wouldn't have to worry about it but again if you're the kind of guy who's very who's very sensitive to details this isn't it. I find the T2 Plus to be more sensitive. Then as for the soundstage, I still think the Arias or the Blonde 03s have better soundstage. But then again, it, it doesn't mean to say that th this has bad soundstage. It's good. It's it's more than enough for, more than enough for majority of the people. So should I recommend it? <laughs> of course. But the thing is. I'm not sure if I can recommend it at $119 because I'm the kind of guy who's who doesn't really want to spend that much on IEMs. I'm just listening for fun. I'm not in it to use it professionally and I can't justify the price of spending that much money on a hobby, I guess. So yeah, but... If you can find yourselves this one for secondhand for sale, like at a lower price, and it doesn't 
have any issues at all like it doesn't doesn't have any chipping painting or any other imperfections then by all means if you're a mids guy like me who loves vocals who loves instruments like listening to math rock and or something like uh j uh, pop music who has very pronounced vocals i think you love these so this is the part where i tell you that if you're just starting out i think this is me telling you that i don't think you should you should start by spending a lot of on iems especially brand new because they don't retain in value i think that's why if i were you you i i would probably just wait for a sec for for lit for online listings and just get it from there if you just want to try it out yourself so you wouldn't spend that much money on something that you're not truly sure if you'd if you'd even like the sound or not like i said these went uh for like 120 dollars new but you can get but if you have the patience enough you can get them for like how i get how i got mine for 45 dollars okay that's how the video goes maybe next on the next video i'll probably I know I, I know I said I usually just try IEM's stock as it is, but ever since I went in deep with the tips, I'll probably talk about them as well because I think they're a life changer. I'm not sure if I can justify their prices, but I think they're very life changing. I'm just wait. Uh, I already got my spin fits. Uh, the final the uh, final ease and I'm and this one the touch gems I'm just waiting for this one to arrive then I'll probably make a proper video on these as well and if I think it's it's worth it to change your IEMs but yeah thanks for watching this video uh, I hope you enjoy it I hope I helped you in realizing that Maybe you shouldn't spend a lot on brand new IEMs and maybe just wait for the second hands. Okay, thanks.